Oh, good morning. Been a while. It's been a while. My shackles have been released. I'm on year one at the minute, heading down to Pickering. And then I'm away over the Humber, but not using the bridge, going back on the A1 and down to get a collection, but I'll share that a little bit. So I hope everybody is keeping safe and doing well and not going absolutely crazy. But safety first and all that. It's my first day back. I worked one week in the lockdown and then that, that was me after that. So I've been stuck in like everybody else. I've done quite a bit of volunteer work, uh, community, picking up meds, shopping, things like that for people in our local area. Kind of signed up and were designated a certain number of houses that we kind of took care of. New. Cameras not in use. Just crack on there. So this is getting me just down to 50 mile an hour. Right the way past, I think up to Metro Centre or something like that. Yeah, I've also, while I've been off, every Thursday during the club, I was asked by the local community centre. And we did our street first of all, Karen and I were videoed in, uh, top to bottom on the bike. It was amazing. Shared it on the, the local site. And people went nuts for it. And then one of the, the managers in the centre called and asked what we do whole of our village, so the whole area. And, uh, yeah, okay. Which is what we did. Well, we haven't finished yet. We've done, we've done three, so far, three areas. Last Thursday, lump of me thrown, honestly, it was absolutely incredible. And then put it all together in the end and want us to, to go into the community centre and sort of do a bit of filming where people where they're making things um, they've been doing they've been knitting bags like not knitting but sort of making bags for the NHS to take the laundry home and they can just wash it just straight put it straight in the wash with the bags would be brilliant. Real community spirit. So it's, it's certainly not kept us busy, but I feel like I, I managed to just do a little something, you know. Um, trucking industries not being swamped, they've been absolutely fine. So I didn't need anything. I spoke to a couple of agencies, it was all good, and I was right, fine then. So I finished the camper van, literally couple of tiny little things to do but I'm waiting for the timber merchants to open. I'm not going to go and stand and be in queue and things like that. It's just no point. Very first morning it opened. It was there for it opening. There was no one there. It was great. I've got a couple of bits and bobs that I needed and then I seen how bad it was getting and I come out and then I thought nah. Old people standing in queues, you know, just scanning in the garden centre, predominantly the garden section, you know, so not worth it. It'll be interesting to see how the roads are today because normally around this area, right, it is only 20 to 6, I started at 5 o'clock. It's a brutal start, isn't it, for your first one back? Like when we come back from Thailand, like it's a long, long time off, but I'm, I'm really happy to be back. 
salir. Está Slightly different than when I last did Pickering, isn't it? A nice run home anyway. It wasn't the most enjoyable with a full load going in both times the way I, I went. But today, A64, if you're uh, heavy haulage, caravans, you want to get to places like Helmsley, Pickering, places like that, can't beat it. No problems whatsoever. Guys, spot on. They've only really just started to come back last last week. Just doing yard work and now doing bits and bobs. Turn round. around here see what's what so I will need to take a 45 once I've picked my load up I've got a decent tripod in the house I just couldn't bring and find it today so I've got one of those grabby ones oh my god they're crap Oi. Where do you want us, mate? Just, just, just right. Stanley, stop it, Stanley, stop it, Stanley.
So I'm right next to where the steelworks are in Scunthorpe that got rescued, shall we say, by the Chinese. <laughs> you can smell it! I just said to him, you're going to get rain the next five minutes. It's like, whoa! Yeah. Uncle Stevie knows best! I hope 